And here we go. The next race on the track is uh, finally on. And uh, looking forward to see what these boys are going to do. Oh, our Vutum Lilo. Bring on the fire. Bring on uh, the uh, fire extinguishers because uh, the, we're going to have to definitely uh, put this track out uh, once uh, these boys are done. They fast running. They're coming from the men from uh, KZN Kwazulu Natal. They're coming out with a very fast pace. Uh, who is it? Uh, we'll get you that name shortly. But in second place currently, it is a uh, central Gauteng. Central Gauteng uh, currently in uh, the second place. And uh, the boys are definitely going for this one, Tabo. We saw an exciting race in the girls yes. under 18. And Market. now the boys are finally underway as well in this one. It is race after race. It is fire, spine tingling, energy draining from the athletes as they inspire the whole nation it is the south african championship under 18 now the men 1500 meters the man in the front is the home crowd favorite ruben fasahi he's been really good but will he just tame the rest of the guys he's got the likes of lehandru aronse that is the tall big figure there in the bull and colors running in the shades in the shade of the kwazulu natal sunshine well it's going to be a brilliant one michelle wakefield was undone in the 800 meters he let himself to be boxed in he couldn't get out of trouble what will he do this time amukhelan tatai cross country champion under 16 champion there he is in fourth position in the green colors this is going to be fire this is the moment that all these athletes pray for, train for, work for, and now they compete for it. It is time to shine. Hashtag time to shine at the World of Champions Super Sports Schools app. In the second spot, well, it is going to be a thrilling event. Less than 1,200 meters to go, less than 800 meters to run. They will get the bell and then it will be flight box 230 leandro arntze fasahi in the front and well they are joined there as well as the marshall wakefield he's still boxed amuhelan tatai one of the finest youngsters from northwest he goes into the front with the big names they take the bell around six men to fight for the gold medal Fasahi is in the front. Will anyone catch Fasahi? He runs in the air of, of KZN. 300 meters to go. Marcel Wakefield needs a medal. He had two medals from last year. Now they start to run. The house is on fire. The steam is on. The speed is on. Fasahi still hanging on. Striking kicking and kicking hard they've got 200 meters to go amukhelan tatai goes into another gear fasahi is in a line of his own well here comes marcel wakefield he's got a set to score to settle he's got a name to defend he's got a medal to win he's got a finish line to conquer he's got a fasahi to conquer he's got seven meters he won't catch him Fasahi from gun to tape, he takes a medal and 15 year old Amukhelan Tatai takes the bronze medal. Wakefield finally gets rewarded for all of his troubles, for all of his fights. <laughs> this young man came out, he was out of the final of the 800 meters, dejected, crying, dismayed, dis broken but he's here and he has a silver medal oh, 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 oh. what a race at Tabo he gave it his all he ran like a man with a mission he ran like a man with a purpose a man with a point to prove and definitely getting that gold medal you can see just from his face there is a man who had a point to prove not to others but to himself and looking at more results from the boys under 18 1500 meters third place we have Amokhelang Tatai uh, with a time of 353.13 in a second place we had Marisal the man from Central Gauteng Athletics Wakefield uh, with a time of 352.03 uh, getting that second place 
and in first place uh, with uh, the victory for KwaZulu Natal it was uh, Ruben Fasahi with a time of 350.92 and what a brilliant run it was there for boys under 18 1500 meters